Hello, I am Rajran Grimes, and I'm going to demonstrate the Classroom Performance System, also known as CPS. The Classroom Performance System is a tool that allows students to read information on a screen and then answer the questions using a clicker. Now today is Wednesday, March 31st, and I actually used this lesson four, four times today in order to have students understand how they might do potentially on the state of Georgia's Criterion Reference Competency Test. The Georgia CRCT will be administered in reading on Wednesday, April 15th. And so I wanted to see how my students would do potentially on this test. So I received a CRCT study guide from the state of Georgia, Department of Education. The reading study guide has a two-page reading passage and then ten questions. I typed those 10 questions into the CPS and so it was ready for my students to use. The CPS uses a laptop, as you can see, a LCD projector, a receiver, and clickers. We call these the clickers. You notice that it's a handheld device. It has buttons A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H that the students point at the screen in order for their answers to be recognized. The first thing that I need to do is have the CPS receiver recognize my particular clicker. And I am going to open up the CPS software. On the screen I have my menu options of lessons, standards, team activities, classes, reports, and gradebook. The questions that I physically entered into the database is there, but the very first thing I need to do is have the system recognize my clicker. So I'm going to go to classes, take attendance, attendance, and now the clicker attendance screen shows 1 through 32, which is the number of available clickers. I'm going to point the clicker at the receiver after pressing start, point the clicker. As you can see, now my number one, which is the number of my clicker, is highlighted. So the system recognizes it. Click end. And now I'm ready to go. The next thing I need to do is go to my lesson. Click on the CRCT study guide questions and select engage. And as you can see, I have a screen pop up. I am going to select fifth period. As I mentioned earlier in this demonstration, I use this, this actually in my class today in my fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh periods. I'm going to select fifth period and I'm going to select start. A menu list appears, questions next, verbal, chalk, options, class, exit PCS and close. I'm going to select questions and in actuality the collect questions I want, I want number one. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to select next. The reading passage in the study guide has to do with chilies and peppercorns and the Europeans uh, desire to have uh, to import pepper. 
So this first question asks, what is one reason European explorers tried to find a sea route to India? And there are four options. I am going to select D as in Delta. They wanted an easier way to import black pepper. I'm selecting D on my clicker. You notice that number one is highlighted. And now I'm going to see if I'm correct. But first of all, you notice there's a timer here. If I want, I can have a countdown timer on there, and so the students will know how much time they have left in order to respond. But I'm going to click End. And it tells me that the students will know if they got it right or wrong. And, for example, if they got it wrong, they will see, oh, I've got, it's D, and they will know which answer is right or which one is wrong. And so I actually selected C to show what happens when it's wrong, what happens when it's right, and uh, then I can move on. Now I'm going to select close. The next thing I can do is close out in order to move on in the, in the program. It asks me the action you have chosen will end the session. I'm going to select yes. The next thing I want to do is select reports. Now I want to choose one of my earlier periods because there's more information. I'm going to select seventh period today. And the particular report I want is instructor summary. Click preview. And this lets me know how well my students performed on my 10 questions. And for example, the first person, number one, got 40% of the questions right, but number two got 90% right. I can further uh, create reports to show me which questions each student got right or wrong. I can put, actually put in their names so that I would know uh, how they responded. So this is a powerful tool for me as the instructor. So I'm going to close this out. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Classroom Performance System, also known as the Clicker. My colleagues and I really like using this tool. The students enjoy it. It fosters a sense of competition with them. And we always have a good time uh, learning from it. Thank you so much for watching.